All right, today is July 19th, 2022, and we are just coming off of a fresh kind of waterfall um, plummet in the market. Um, not really a plummet. I mean, it was only down by like 30, 40 points or something like that. That's not huge, but just it was trending sideways until like this, uh, we got some Apple news. They were going to freeze, not freeze, but slow down hiring, which I thought was way too big of a reaction for that. But anyway, here we are. Um, it pretty much erased all of yesterday at this point. Um, we got some good numbers uh, coming in on building permits. Um, so real estate that kind of buoyed the market a little bit. Um, there was also some other news. Um, I forgot where it was at. Um, the, some Nord Stream report was good. Um, so that also helped out the market. This, this has to do with the uh, oil. Um, so the market kind of surged a little bit on that. Um, what I did after yesterday's uh, trade fail, which you know, I didn't have high hopes for this one anyway, this is more of an experiment, but this put spread that I put in early, um, just looking at previous days where if you put in you know, put spread, by 10 o'clock it would have worked like 99% of the time until yesterday, of course. Um, you know, tried it, didn't work, so we're, we're just gonna stick to the plan. Um, I put in a call spread right here um, on this bar, uh, we see that we have a cross into the purple area um, in, with the stochastics. So decided to go ahead and uh, try a call spread. I didn't get as high as I really wanted, so I'm gonna keep a close eye on this. We are above the next pivot point on it at least, um, but this was only 40 points away, and I like to try to be 50 points. I'm a little bit more comfortable with it because the market's already up 72 points and to get a hundred plus day and break through another pivot point at the same time doing so, um, you know, is not likely, not that it can't happen, of course, but it's not likely. Um, so I was comfortable enough with it to try it out. Um, I do think that the market's going to calm down a little bit because it's not like these hiring slowdowns have just gone away, but, uh, I think that some uh, sellers are going to see some value in selling, um, you know, if it tries to push up. Uh, so we'll see. But, uh, you know, I like to, I'd like to have been at least 10 points higher uh, for me to call it a good trade, but there just was no money up there. Um, so we're going to try this out. We'll keep a close eye on it, see what happens. Um, I'll probably consider exiting the trade pretty shallow, probably... I would say in the 13, I mean, excuse me, 39 10s. Um, and then later on in the day, if we if we get into the 39 20s, the mid 20s, then I'll definitely exit the trade. The, my hard stop is definitely gonna be probably about 39 25 uh, before I exit this trade if, if it comes to that. Um, so that's where we are right now. Um, like I said, I do think the market is going to retrace some before it tries to make any kind of meaningful push from here, but we'll see on that. And I do want to try to get another put trade actually following my rules, which is letting the stochastics curl back, um, get to the bottom black area and then curl back up into the purple area. Um, I do want to see if I can get a put trade in. Um, it's probably going to be a little while before it does that at least. Um, probably to about uh, one o'clock is 12 right now. So it'll probably take at least an hour at the earliest for that to happen. Um, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that as well. And that's where we are. But uh, anything else, I guess that's it. So we'll keep an eye on it. I do, from a macro perspective, I'm really looking for the market to get to 4,000 here pretty soon. Um, and that would be very nice as far as, uh, you know, for the bulls out there, for people who have bullish positions, which is mostly everybody. So I'm looking for the market to get to the 4,000s uh, to, to really kind of progress us along to kind of establish a recovery from where we are. Um, oh, that's what I was trying to think of. Also, I added another thing to my setup, which is uh, live news. 
Um, I found this person, this outlet on Twitter. I'm not a, a big Twitter user at all. Like I barely know how to use it. Um, but I did find this person that seems to be giving up to date information. So I'm hoping that if anything pops that is significant, I can kind of be ahead of it a little bit. Um, yesterday with that Apple news, I was a little bit behind the curve. Um, so I'm hoping this will keep me a little bit more informed. If you guys have any outlets that you like that that's more streaming uh, based or, you know, keeps you ahead of the curve as far as, uh, you know, a new stream, please let me know. Um, but uh, this is what I found for right now. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, um, no economic reports out there. Um, we've got the uh, foam C member speaking. Sometimes that can have an effect, but uh, uh, most of the time it has to be the Fed chairman. But uh, sometimes I've seen it where like a side member speaks and that kind of moves the market because they say something. But uh, We'll keep an eye on it and see where we are. But for the moment, we're okay. Uh, we'll let this thing uh, soak a little bit, see what happens, and I'll be on the lookout for that put trade, see if we can get that in. Hopefully, I can get down um, uh, to this maybe 3850s um, with my trade to try to at least get below the open of the day. So we'll see, and uh, we'll check in. Alrighty guys, hope everybody's doing well. Um, this is the end of day for July 20th and you can see it got to be a really interesting day and honestly it's already a really interesting week. Apparently we had some really good earnings, um, Netflix and among others and uh, that kind of spurred the market to do its thing and pull a full yin yang uh dr jekyll mr hyde um as you can see yesterday it was almost a mirror image <laughs> uh, from yesterday so it's kind of crazy and uh here is my call spread that i sold and uh luckily for me i got busy today so i wasn't able to really monitor it like that by the time i got to it uh to look at it uh the market was probably about right here um, at this peak right here and by that time it was too late and I didn't have a stop on it or anything like that um, but by the time I got to it it was already here so I said you know what let's just see what happens we're bumping right up against this pivot point right here um, looks like it's trying to respect that pivot point let's just see what happens at this point because it's already down so much that it's a lost cause um, if it loses um, and we're definitely due for the sellers to come in and try to, you know, uh, take some profits, which they tried to do. Um, but the market just, it was just strong, you know, it was just strong. Every dip, um, kind of got pounded back up as, as you were watching it live. And, uh, you know, the last 15 minutes is the last 15 minutes. We got this peak right here and I was like, oh, oh well, there we go. I mean, it's, it's gone at that point, but no, um, but really, um, what I really thought was going to happen kind of ended up happening, kind of not. But I felt like the market was pushing too early. So at this point, it was uh, about 3.40. So we had about 20 minutes left in the market. And, and at the time, live, it was really, really pushing on this bar right here to keep going up, keep going up, and keep driving. And uh, in my head, I was thinking it's too early. It's too early to kind of peak towards the end. And I thought it was going to get sold off. And it did. It, it got sold. Not much now. It was only like, uh, you know, at the time, I think it was like maybe seven points off the high. Um, it really stayed up here for a while before it started to sell off. Um, and then it tried to power back. I thought usually, well, not usually, but I thought what was going to happen is it was pushing too fast, too early before the market closed. So it was going to sell off into the close, not sell off, but relax into the close. And people are going to take a little bit of profits towards the close. But these last two bars, um, they pushed the market back up. And uh, that's good news if you're a bull, um, because it shows a lot of belief is coming back into the market, even though we still have the news that caused this drop, 
which is companies are, are starting to slow down hiring. Um, sometimes, I mean, you just, just can't make sense of it, really. You really can't. Um, but anyway, that was the market. My trade ended up working by just three and a half, uh, a little bit less than three and a half points. Um, so it was a very interesting uh, time watching it. I was actually driving at the time, watching it on my phone, and I was just sitting there like, coin flip, I don't know which way it's going to go. Um, so it looks like I won this coin flip. Definitely don't recommend it. Um, so I could have just as easily lost on this trade. It just happened that I was on the other side of it. Now, a question that a lot of people may have is what happens if it ended up on the other side of this red line? Well, you don't immediately lose everything. Um, so this particular trade was a five wide, so it was a 39.40 by 39.45, which is about here. If the market had gone past 39.45, then I would have lost everything I put in the trade. Um, but in between that space, you basically lose in proportion to how deep it encroaches beyond your strike price all the way through uh, your safety. So if it would if it ended up midway between 40 and 45, then I would have lost half of my investment. Um, but you don't lose everything until it crosses or meets the other side of your spread. That's when you lose everything. If it was just a little bit crossed over in here, like say it was like a, I don't know a dollar in that I probably would have lost uh, a quarter. Um, around a quarter of my investment, maybe a little bit less, 20% or something like that of my investment. But it's proportion, uh, It's proportionate to how deep that uh, it crosses your strike price. So interesting day. Um, the futures are also up as well. Um, let me see. Yeah, they're still up by 14 points. Um, earnings are starting to take over the story. Um and we'll see what that means. That that could also mean that uh, the Fed, uh, you know, doesn't as aggressively raise rates to try to control everything. I'm not sure. Um, inflation is still really the boss right now until otherwise, you know, something else happens. Um, so we've already got our inflation number. Um, so now it's earnings turn to shine. So far, our earnings seem, appear to be good. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe they'll take over this show. So we'll see tomorrow. I still want to start looking at more puts. I didn't try one today because, you know, the market was just pounding up higher and I didn't even get an opportunity. You can see the stochastics here. Never even got to the lower black area at all. Um, you can still do a put on days like this. I just, I just don't. Um, this pro this would have definitely been a better day, um, you know, hindsight 2020, of course, but seeing the market, seeing the news early about, you know, the good earnings and everything like that, and we have no economic news to, to fight against it, this probably would have been a better day to try that early put like I did yesterday. Um, but I, I just, I, I got busy and I wasn't even thinking about it. So maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Um, but that's it for today, wrapping up July 20th. Let's see what happens on Wednesday. Um, till then, signing out. Please like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Right now, I feel like nobody's watching the video. Um, hopefully, I can look back on this and laugh. But I need you guys, if you do see this, please like and leave a comment. Help the YouTube algorithm start picking this stuff up and showing other people if you like the content. Because um, right now, I'm just kind of shouting into the ether um you know just into an empty cave basically hoping that you know somebody will pick this up but please like it let you two know that you like this kind of content engage with it share it ring the uh bell become a subscriber all that kind of stuff uh so it lets me know that somebody cares about this stuff right otherwise i have no idea and i'm just looking at a screen of zeros or one, two people happen, happen to randomly come across it and don't say anything. So say something, say hi, say whatever. Dislike the video if you don't like it. I don't really care. Just show some engagement um, to get this stuff out here if you like it. Um, so it can help the channel do something. So 
All right, I'm out. Peace.